Hey guys, welcome to the channel. When you think you're starting your astronomy journey, it is very confusing for the beginner which telescope they should go with. If you have a big budget, then you can go with any of the high-end telescopes which will serve you long term. But if you don't have a budget, then you need to start with something which will give you value for the money you spend. So in this video, we'll see four telescopes that are good for beginners to get started on their astronomy journey. Our first telescope is Celestron 114LCM telescope. The Celestron 114 LCM telescope is the largest model available in the LCM line. The reflector telescope features a 4.5 inch primary mirror that gathers enough light to see the fine details of any of the celestial objects you're interested in. The LCM part of the name stands for Lightweight Computerized Mount, which helps you locate thousands of objects in the sky. On the tripod, there's a hand control with a database that allows you to select whatever object you're looking for. The telescope then finds it in the sky, centering it into the eyepiece for your viewing pleasure. If you are unsure what you want to see, you can also push the Sky Tour button. This feature brings up a list of objects currently visible in the sky for you to choose from. Even beginners will have no trouble setting this up by using the Sky Align system. You find the moon, enter the date and time, and press a button. The telescope aligns itself using a computerized tracking system to chart the sky. Other handy features that both beginners and experts will love are the red dot finder. The two included eyepieces and the included the SkyX planetarium disc. All the features may just make this the best telescope for the price. Our second telescope is Orion Starblast 4.5 Astro Reflector Telescope. This is a great beginner telescope. Even experts in astronomy will appreciate the views and accessories that come with it. The Orion Starblast has a 4.5 inch aperture reflector tube that collects a huge amount of light to show you crystal clear images. This is a very good beginner telescope, powerful enough to see the rings on Saturn and see great details on the moon. It is a grab and go telescope because of its compact size. It is portable enough so you can put it in the car and take it camping with you. The telescope comes with the 17mm and 6mm plossal eyepieces, which offer different magnifications for finding objects or viewing them up close. The shorty 2x Barlow multi-coated lens lets you double the magnification on both eyepieces as well. By using higher magnification with a Barlow lens, you can see Saturn's rings. It also comes with an Orion E-Series moon filter to enhance your viewing enjoyment of the moon. Moon filter reduces glare and boosts contrast so you can enjoy more detailed views of lunar surface features. The other thing you get with the telescope is Orion Moon Map 260, which helps you locate various features of the moon. The Orion Telescope Observer's Guidebook shows beginners over 60 exciting objects in the sky to look for. A red beam Mimi LED light lets you see maps in the dark. The telescope comes pre-assembled so when you unbox it you can go straight for stargazing. This is one of the best beginner telescopes you can buy to get your money's worth. The third telescope on this list is Celestron Inspire 70AZ. This telescope is from the Celestron Inspire series of telescopes. Beginner astronomers will love how easy this telescope is to use, as well as its great features. The Celestron Inspire 70AZ has a 70mm aperture with a focal length of 700mm. This telescope has a focal ratio of 10 and has fully coated optics. It comes with two calendar eyepieces, one is 20mm and the second is 10mm. The maximum magnification you get with a 20mm eyepiece is 35 times, and with 10mm eyepiece 70 times. There's also a Star Pointer Pro Finder Scope to help you aim your tool. The Focus Micrometer uses a numbered scale that shows you exactly where the focuser is positioned. This helps you quickly return to any specific point you like if you drift away from it or look at something else. One unique feature this telescope has is the lens cap, which has an integrated smartphone adapter built right into it. You can put your phone on the rubberized friction surface so it's positioned to view through your imaging point then secure it with the included bungee cords. Once it is in position, you can use your smartphone to take pictures of the high-powered images seen through the telescope. This feature alone makes this the best telescope for the price with some type of camera attachment. The mount has built-in red LED flashlight that can be used to light up the accessory tray on the sturdy tripod or remove to see separately as needed. Given that the telescope is very easy to use and can be used by kids as well, Overall, this telescope is great to start your astronomy journey as a beginner. The fourth telescope on this list is Orion SkyQuest XT6. 
When you're on a tight budget, then you won't have many options with big aperture size telescopes. Bigger aperture sizes usually are expensive, but Orion SkyQuest X-T6 is an exception to this. This is a Dobossian type telescope. As it's not a computerized telescope, you need to navigate through the sky manually. As a beginner, while doing this, you get familiar with the night sky and you'll learn a lot of things which you might not learn with a computerized telescope. So from the learning point of view, this is a highly recommended telescope for beginners. The telescope has an aperture of 6 inches and a focal length of 1200 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 8 and the total weight of the telescope assembly is 35 pounds. The telescope comes with a single 25 millimeter plus eyepiece which gives magnification up to 48 times. Though it is a bit heavy to carry around with you every day, this sleek telescope from Orion is easy to set up anywhere. It has a solid sturdy build that will last for years. But Orion also offers a one year limited warranty in case of unexpected issues. Its primary 6 inch is parabolic so there are no spherical aberrations. The mirror also grasps enough light to allow deep sky viewing, bringing star clusters, nebulas and galaxies all within range. The base of the sky's quest is sturdy enough to create vibration free images. Even when you're using high power lenses and eyepieces, moving the telescope to track the objects in the sky is also smooth, so you don't lose what you're looking at. The 25mm Cyrus Plossal eyepiece is located near the front of the telescope, so you can see objects right above you without crouching near the ground. There are also a 2 inch Crayford focuser and an EZ Finder 2 aiming device to make it even easier to find the celestial bodies you're looking for. A carry handle on the bottom makes it easy to move it when needed. Overall, this telescope will give you a lot more for the price you pay. As a beginner, you will learn a lot of basic things while using this telescope. The telescope weight is a little on the heavier side, but it's not the problem then this telescope is awesome for beginners. So these are some of the good telescopes you can find around the $300 range. I hope you find this video helpful to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day guys. Peace.